everybody and welcome to today's workout. Thank you for joining me in the sunny Maldives. If it's not sunny where you are, no problem. You are going to be able to enjoy the sun with me for the next 10 minutes. So we are going to be doing a hamstring workout. So working this muscle here is also going to help with those glutes as well. Now little tip for you. You guys are not going to bulk up by using small light weights, okay? You need to use seriously heavy weights and eat lots of protein to get really, really big. So make sure that you are using a weight that's challenging for you. I'm just going to be demonstrating today with 2.5 kg, but sometimes I go up to, you know, 20 pounds, 25 pounds for each dumbbell. So we're going to pick up those weights and we're going to get started. So make sure you've done that warm up and cool down videos during, before and afterwards, okay? So important, especially when we are working out our legs. Okay, so the first exercise we're going to do, so make sure you've done the warm up. Okay, you're going to have your feet hip distance apart. You're going to bring those weights in front of you. Now you can use dumbbells, you can use these, you can use bottles of water, whatever it is, you know, just use something to give a little bit of resistance. Okay, so you're going to have those weights in front of you. You have a slight bend in your knee and you really are just going to lean forward, okay? So I'm leaning forward, I'm keeping those legs straight and then I'm going to come all the way up to the top and then I'm going to squeeze those glutes as I get there. So we're just going to take it really slow for the first few, okay, just to get used to it. So keep that chest up and there's a slight bend in the knee. You don't need to come all the way down to the ground, just feel that stretch in your hamstrings and then all the way up. And then tuck those hips up underneath as you get to the top and squeeze those glutes for me. Okay, let's keep going. So it's really important that we get our form right here. Make sure that your back is nice and straight and we're just taking it nice and slow. So as you get down to here, you should be able to wiggle your toes a little bit. Okay, making sure that all that weight is really in those heels and you can feel it in those hamstrings. Okay, bring it all the way up to the top, bring that chest up and squeeze those glutes. Okay, let's take it down. Now, if you can't feel this, okay, or it's not really that challenging, you need to increase the weight and that's what's gonna help you, you know, define those muscles. It's gotta be heavy enough so that you're actually making the change. Okay, so we're gonna take it all the way down here and we're just gonna hold. So really just have a slight bend in that knee, try and keep that chest up and we're gonna pulse up and down. So just moving that top part of our body, those arms are staying nice and straight and up and down we go. Oh yes, you've got this guys. We're gonna be feeling the burn. So make sure that you hashtag I can feel the burn Rebecca so that I can find you on Instagram afterwards because there are so many of you incredible Ralphies if you are brand new today and you're wondering what are the Ralphies, then that is our community name. I know Alfie has not been in a couple of videos recently, um, but that is because he is hard at work back at RLHQ. Okay, so let's hold it down here for three, two, one, and bring it all the way up to the top. Okay, we're going to go down into a second step. So squeeze, that's it, really try and keep those legs straight, just a slight bend in those knees. Take it all the way down and bring it up. Okay, you've got this. Keep working strong. It's only 10 minutes and you know really doing these exercises every day following my fitness program which is the 30 day get fit It's really gonna help you stay on track because it's gonna electronically track your progress. Oh, yes Okay, we're gonna take it down keep that chest up and let's pulse for 10 9 8 7 keep going 6 5 4 3 2 one and lift all the way up to the top okay great job now we're gonna go on to a single leg okay so a little bit more advanced but you guys are gonna be able to do it so just make sure that you're having your core nice and tight so we're gonna start off with that right leg in front okay we're gonna take that left leg back and we're gonna have it nice and straight so all you're gonna do is you're gonna go down just like we did before not all the way you're gonna bring that chest up first and then you are gonna bring that heel in together, okay? So really make sure that you're keeping that leg up at the back. So nice and slow, all the way up. Really keep that leg lifted. Keep that leg lifted at the back as you bring the chest up. You can feel it in those glutes and then you can bring that leg down. So that really is the key here and you're gonna get that extra resistance, you're gonna get that extra burn. So down, lift the chest up, squeeze those glutes and then bring it in. Nice work, everybody. Okay, so just keep listening to the sound of my voice. I'm gonna be guiding you through this 10 minutes, so you do not need to think, you just need to keep on moving that body. Okay, so down, lift that leg up, squeeze, and there we go. Okay, we're gonna take it down, and we're gonna hold at this position. Now we're gonna sweep through that leg and extend out at the back, okay? So just squeeze, push it, flex that foot, have that chest lifted for me, and squeeze it back. That's it, really push that heel back, you can feel that burn in the leg. You can feel it in those calves for three, two, 
and one. Okay, nice job. Oh, how those glutes feeling? A little bit tingly. Loving it. Okay, we're going to go to the other side. So really listen here. Okay, you're going to drop down as your leg comes up. You're going to hold that leg up at the top. You're going to squeeze, bring that chest up, and then drop that leg down. And that's really how you're going to feel it even more. So drop it down. That chest comes up first. Squeeze those glutes, and then down it comes. Nice stuff, everybody. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it strong. And any time that you do, you need to increase those weights. Okay, or if they're too heavy, just keep moving with me. You can even do this exercise without any weights, just to get the form right first, and just to start toning up your body. Okay, so take it down. That leg is staying nice and straight. It's lifted. Chest comes up, and then down we go. Okay, you're looking awesome, everybody. Let's keep squeezing nice and tight. Let's do one more on this side. We are halfway through already. So take it down and we're going to hit. So just pulse. That's it. The 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we're going to bring that leg in and we're going to squeeze out to the back. So that's it. So flex that foot and push it out. Oh yes, we're feeling it in those hamstrings, in those calf muscles. Keep that chest up for me. Those arms nice and straight. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to take it over to the other side and just add in those pulses. So here we go. We've got ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and open up that chest. Relax down. You're going to be able to feel it a little bit in your back as well. It's going to be the lower back here. That's just the top part of your glutes. So as long as you're doing the form correctly, you're going to be working those glutes instead of that back. Okay, we're going to come down to the ground. Okay, and we're going to go into a bridge. So you're going to have one of your weights. So you can put one of them to the side. Or if you don't have weights, no problem. You can still do this. You're going to lie all the way down. You're going to put this weight right here and we are gonna come up into that bridge. So we really are working those hamstrings here. You can feel it. Now the weight here is just gonna add a little bit of resistance. So you can pop it here, you can hold it there, and we're just gonna squeeze up. So we're gonna come up onto those toes and then put those heels down. So we're working our calves here too. You're getting it in the glute. So really push those hips up to the sky and let's keep squeezing. Woo, we're just pulling up onto those toes. And then each time that you do that, guys, you want to push those hips all the way up to the sky. So really accentuating those glutes and working those hamstrings. Okay, you've got three and two. And last one, squeeze. And there we go. Okay, so we're going to hold it here and you're going to drop one leg down. Okay, and we're just going to pulse up and down. That's it. So really working those hamstrings, increasing that glute muscle as well. You've got this and just keep squeezing. Push those hips up to the sky. And don't quit now, guys. You can do this. Keep going for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, take it over to the other side. Now, any time this weight here is too much, just drop it down. It's no problem. I want your body to keep moving rather than you stopping. Okay, you've got this. Push those hips up to the sky. Now, just think, how much do you want your body to change? What is it that you want it to look like? Envision it and then just do the work to get there. And it's only a matter of time and discipline. You've got this for five, four, three, two, one. And release all the way down. Okay, you're going to take that weight down to the side. And we're just going to rise all the way up into that glute. Bring those knees together and take it down. Okay, so squeeze up. Bring those knees together and gently relax down. Oh, we are feeling it today, guys. You are on fire. Those abs are gonna be working on fire as well as we're always doing something with our core. You're gonna be working those glutes. Let's really lift up to the sky. You've got five, four, count down with me. Three, and two, last one. The best one yet, squeeze and gently come down. Okay, and we're gonna roll all the way up to the top. And as you come up to standing, grab hold of those weights. Oh yes, to shake it out a little bit, move those hips, and we're gonna go back down into where we were at the beginning, but we're gonna take a little bit of a wider squat, okay? So keep those legs nice and still. Okay, nice and straight. You're gonna have your feet just over your mat. That chest is gonna be up, and you are gonna drop down here, and then squeeze all the way up to the top. So this time, our legs are super straight, okay? Our back is nice, 
and tight and controlled and everything is moving down together nice and slowly yes so keep those arms straight for me okay that back is straight as well so you're just kind of like leaning forward as well as keeping those those legs straight that's it bring that chest up and then you know it you've got to tuck those hips up at the top so squeeze all the way Woo! looking good everybody keep working towards those goals and I say that 80% is nutrition and 20% is the fitness. So if you're not sure what to eat, you need a coach, you need someone to help you. My nutrition plans, okay, they are going to solve all your problems. You get your very own coach. Okay, we're almost there on this workout. We're gonna hold it here and we're just gonna pulse. That's it, so squeeze it. I'm just lifting my upper part of my body. My arms are nice and straight. I'm working those hamstrings. Oh yes, keep squeezing. Pull that belly button into the spine, drop those ribs down for three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna go into our last exercise. Bonus round here. You're gonna come back into that single leg squat where we were before, single leg deadlift, sorry. And we're just gonna go all the way down. You're gonna come up, you're gonna squeeze in and out and then drop it down, okay? So a whole set and squeeze all the way. So take it down, that's it. Bring that knee in, out, bend it down and all the way up to the top. Okay, we're gonna do two more on this side. We're gonna switch over to the other and then you are done. Take it down, bend that front knee, squeeze those glutes, bring it all the way up to the top. Last time on this side. So take it down into that deadlift. Bring that knee in, push it out to the back. Bend the knee, squeeze those glutes all the way up to the top. Okay, you've just got four more on this side. We're gonna crush it. We're doing a little bit more than 10 minutes. That is because we are working hard today and we're gonna make it happen. Bend that knee, squeeze those glutes all the way up to the top. Three more to go. Do not stop now. This is the best exercise. This is the one that's gonna make the difference if you finish it or not. All the way down to the ground. Keep that leg, squeeze it in. Then you've got one more after this. Keep that leg lifted as you come to the top. Squeeze those glutes and let's take it down for that last one. Making it the best one we've done so far. Bring that knee in, push it out, bend, squeeze all the way up to the top. And aren't you so glad that you got in that extra bonus round? Okay, put those weights down, wiggle out your hips, shake it around. Make sure that you do the cool down video afterwards. There are exclusive warm up and cool down videos on the 30 day get fit program. All the details are below. It's the actual right workout, right warm up and cool down to do for each body part. So thanks for joining me today, guys. I love you, my Ralphies. If you do want to check me out on Facebook or Instagram, you can go and give me a follow at Rebecca Louise Fitness. Have a wonderful day, guys, and stay fit.